Hello girls and boys. Welcome back to Read Me a Story. I'm Pat Kazira here in Hong Kong. And welcome also to my grandchildren, Max, Theo, Josephine, Charlotte, Penelope, and Simon. Love you all and I'm going to see you soon. All right, girls and boys, I'm going to show you first a book for your mummies and daddies. This is called Tips and Tidbits for Parents and Teachers. It's my book. I wrote it so I am the author. It tells them all about my 50 years in the classroom and I share with them all the things I have learned and it will help them to help you at home. They can get it from amazonbooks.com. All right, today girls and boys I have a very exciting book to read to you called Johnny Appleseed. <clears throat> this is a story that takes place in the United States a long, long time ago and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy it. And here's a real apple as well. Johnny Appleseed. This is a story about Johnny Appleseed. With a name like that, you would think he was make-believe. But Johnny Appleseed was a real person who lived more than 200 years ago. It was a sunny fall day in Massachusetts when a boy named Johnny Chapman was born. The baby had cheeks as red and round as apples. Johnny's big sister Elizabeth was happy to have a little brother. The children played together with whatever they could find. And the sun shone and the rain fell and little Johnny played and all was well. Johnny's family got bigger. Johnny and his sister were joined by 10 younger stepbrothers and stepsisters. What a busy noisy house. Johnny would go outdoors when he needed quiet time and sometimes he'd walk along the river. The squishy mud felt so good under his feet. Other times, he would sit under a tree and read. Johnny would watch the animals in the wild, the foxes playing in the meadows, the deer dashing through the woods, and the birds soaring high in the wide blue sky. If he found an injured animal, Johnny would take care of it until the creature was well. Johnny liked being outside, and when he got older, he went to work in the apple orchards, just like his great-great-great-grandfather long before him. And the sun shone, and the rain fell, and Johnny grew up, and all was well. Johnny learned everything about growing apples. He was happy planting seeds, taking care of the trees, and munching on the delicious fruit. Lots of people were moving out west back then. When Johnny was all grown up, he decided to go west too. He didn't bring much with him for a hat he used his pot, and burlap sack did fine for a shirt. And shoes? Well, why wear shoes when you have two perfectly good feet? Johnny traveled the countryside. The sun kept him warm by day. The stars made a roof over his head at night. The rain washed him clean, and the animals kept him company. Sometimes Johnny would stop and plant apple seeds and as soon as the seedlings grew he'd sell the small apple plants to families moving west and when they got to where they were going the families planted Johnny's seedlings and they grew trees of their own. 
Johnny was friends with everyone. Wherever he went, he'd bring seedlings, pitch in with chores, and he'd share stories of his adventures. The seasons passed. Every fall, Johnny gathered seeds from ripe apples. Every spring, he planted the seeds and passed the seedlings to settlers. He planted so many apple seeds that before long, people started calling him Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone and the rain fell and trees filled the land and all was well. Year after year, Johnny tended his orchards, visited friends and family, and slept under the stars. Because of him, people always had fresh fruit to eat. Because of him, the land grew even more beautiful. Johnny Appleseed left behind thousands and thousands of apple trees all across America. Just think, the next apple you eat may be from an apple orchard that was first planted by Johnny Appleseed. And the sun shone, and the rain fell, and Johnny's story lives on, and all is well. And that is the story of Johnny Appleseed. Perhaps this apple here, girls and boys, is one from the original orchards of Johnny Appleseed. What a help he was to keep the apples growing all over America. You know, there's an expression that says, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That tells us if you eat apples, they are very good for you. And maybe you won't get sick so often. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's a rhyming couplet. All right. And you know, girls and boys, the inside part of the apple is called the core. And inside that core lie those seeds. They are lying there, waiting to be planted. We don't eat the seeds. And the skin of the apple, the outside covering, is very good for you too. So not so wise to cut the peel of the apple. It's good for you. All right, girls and boys, I hope you enjoyed that story. See you next time for Read Me a Story. Bye for now.